Hi everyone, today's story is A House in the Woods by Igna Moore. A little pig had made a den for herself in the woods. Next door, another little pig had made himself a hut. One morning, the two little pigs went out walking together. One little pig found a feather and the other found an interesting stick. But when the first little pig brought her feather home to her den, she discovered Bear had moved in. Which she didn't mind because she liked Bear. Only, Bear was so big. Oh dear, the den was wrecked. And when the second little pig went home to his hut with his stick, he discovered Moose had moved in. Which he didn't mind either because he liked Moose. Only Moose was even bigger than Bear. And when he stood up politely to say good morning, crash! The hut was also right. Which left the two little pigs with nowhere to live, not to mention Moose and Bear. And this was a pickle, it really was. Then Moose had a brilliant idea. Why not build a big house where they could all live together. Well, it was an exciting plan, except that building a big house with real windows and doors, a roof, stairs and chimney stacks isn't easy. They couldn't do it on their own. So Moose called the beavers on the telephone. And soon afterwards, a team of beaver builders came to help them with the work. The beavers said, if it was still all right, they wished to be paid in peanut butter sandwiches, to which no one had any objection. So they felled the timber. And the work began. By lunchtime, the walls of the house were up. And by tea time, the roof was on. The lunch and tea times were on different days, of course. Beavers are fast, but not that fast. Bear made the staircases and chimney stacks, while Moose fitted the windows and doors. Then they both went to with the two little pigs to the junkyard for furniture and curtains and all those things that go inside a house. At last the house was finished. The beavers handed over their bill and left. There was just enough time to get to the store. To buy the bread and peanut butter. Then the little pigs helped Miss and Bear make six plates of peanut butter sandwiches, which they delivered in person to the beavers, who had all gone back to their lodge on the lake. It's been a busy time for the little pigs and the Miss and Bear. They had worked hard, especially Bear. Had it been worth it? What do you think? Just look, what a beautiful new house they had to go home to. Bear went to bed first because she was so tired. And after they had finished their supper and washed the dishes, and told stories for a while around the fire. It was the turn of Moose and the two little pigs to climb the stairs to bed. 
Soon the only sounds to be heard were the soft cheeps of sleepy birds roosting in the rafters and the tiny rustling of wood mice in the fallen leaves outside. And just now and then, the gentle snoring of Bear. Good night, Bear. Good night, Miss. Good night, little pigs. Sweet dreams, everyone. The end. Thank you for listening and remember to subscribe to the channel for more great stories.